Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Got here the Lay Box from Delay and Evelette's Cage. Those are uh, one of our pairs of Blue Tree monitors. Um, she's been going in and out of her Lay Box a lot. She's looking a little skinny today. I'm not going to lie. I don't have super high hopes, but we do have to do due diligence and pull them out and make sure uh, there's no eggs in there. Really know what we're looking for we're not very good at this yet so I'm trying to be extra cautious so just figured I'd get the camera just in case this was more exciting than I'm thinking it's gonna be I don't see any evidence of tunneling down at all um, looks like maybe they've been going around and around <laughs> but I still am gonna do this just to be extra super duper careful this, by the way, is just uh, sphagnum moss, peat moss, um, a little bit of sand, and then reptichip. So that's what we're using. I'm just going to real slowly and carefully uh, go through this. I guess I should probably ask some breeders, um, do they bury it back up if they were to tunnel down and lay eggs? Or do they leave their little tunnel? Because I thought I remembered someone saying that you'd see kind of a little bit of tunneling action. But uh, I guess when we've gotten eggs from Sophie, our sailfin dragon, there's been no indication of a tunnel at all. We just had to dig down until we found them, which were almost always right at the bottom um, in one of the corners. So that's kind of what I'll be looking for. Um, but uh, yeah, so breeding these guys has been... Uh, quite the adventure. <laughs> we uh, are pretty certain that we lost a clutch of eggs uh, from this pair and from a, one of our black tree pairs, Jet and Ash, when we just didn't catch that she'd laid soon enough and the male ate the eggs. So that is really, really upsetting. Really a bummer. Um, but that's okay. We will live, we will learn, and we will be more meticulous in checking if we have even the tiniest <laughs> inkling that there's a possibility she could have laid eggs. Uh, it's nighttime right now. Uh, I know I said good morning, but uh, you'll see this in the morning, so that's why I said good morning. But we actually were just super, super, super sneaky um, pulling this egg box out. One of them was asleep in a cork tube directly over this thing. Did not wake it up. I don't know which one it was. Um, hopefully we'll be just as sneaky putting this back in. I'd really hate to like freak them out in the middle of the night. That's not cool. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll probably stay silent here for a few minutes and put this on super duper speed mode so you don't have to sit here bored watching me dig through to probably find nothing so um so um i did reach out to some people on the tree monitor facebook group uh, and they told me that one way to kind of uh, improve your breeding chances are to just separate your pair for a few weeks and reintroduce them. Uh, they just tend to, to breed better. And I have random theories about why that might be useful, um, but I want to do more research before I unveil them. But regardless, um, as soon as we get our, our big, we have kind of a new cage idea for all of our lizards that we are going to be switching over to. Once we do, they'll have dividers and we will utilize that technique. We will separate them for a while and get them back together and see if we can't uh, get some more breeding behavior. I personally have never seen them locked up, ever, any of our pairs. That doesn't mean it hasn't happened. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it has before. But I've never seen it. They're very secretive um, with their breeding. They're not really uh, just 
willing to be out in the open like some of our snakes are. So again, this has been a really uh, educational experience for us. But if any of you have experience, I know a few of you watching I've talked to before um, and picked your brains a little bit. Uh, scales, fins, and feathers in particular I'm thinking of. I know you've got your green trees that uh, you've had some success with. Some scary things too, but uh, definitely some more success than I've had. <laughs> and so uh, any ideas at all to get these guys to breed? Because our both of our uh, Beccari pairs, our Varanus Beccari, that's the black trees, look and seem to be completely uh, old enough and large enough and mature enough to breed, but we haven't had tons of success. And then this blue tree pair, Varanus Macrae, also plenty big, plenty old, um, but again, no, no real breeding. Yeah, I'm all the way down to the bottom. I'm not seeing anything, and that's totally fine. That's kind of what I expected, but I did want to check, so I apologize. Those of you who just sat and watched this whole video of nothing, uh, if you want to leave me a nasty comment, that's fine. But uh, I'm still going to put it up on YouTube because this is part of our existence as reptile breeders. We don't know everything. <laughs> we have also heard that the nesting site uh, and the conditions of that nesting site are very important to monitors in general, but especially the tree monitors. So we're gonna try some different types of boxes, some different substrates, some different temperature ranges, maybe even up and down with humidity. This is just kind of lightly damp substrate that we're putting into ours. Um, that freaked me out, the lid just moved right there. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that uh, was anticlimactic, but there you have it. No tree monitor eggs in this video. Um, please though, advice all you lizard people in general if you keep our boreal lizards, uh, especially monitors, um, and you've had success breeding them, please, please reach out and uh, help me out. I would love any advice. I will accept it humbly, or I'll at least consider it, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to do any crazy thing everyone tells me to do, but... Um, back on there. There you have it. I'm gonna uh, kind of make sure this is actually full. So it feels more like tunneling in there. The stuff right at the top now is gonna be kind of dry. It's not probably ideal, but oh well. I'll just spray it in there. There you go. Doesn't that just look like a place that you would like to have a baby? I mean, you got moss, you got Sand, a nice hole in the ground, <laughs> right, Liz? I am so not commenting on that. <laughs> All right. Awesome, super action-packed video is finished. Thank you for watching. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Advice, advice, advice. We will welcome it. These guys are eating spectacularly. Uh, their stress levels seem to be coming down. They're, they're doing great. They're, they're awesome animals. We just would love to get some eggs. I cannot tell you how I will freak out the first time we get tree monitors, especially blue tree monitor eggs. Guys, the second we get monitor eggs, he's not going to sleep until they hatch. Which is going to be a long time because they take a long time. But uh, yeah, oh boy. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we are the Reptile Barn. Thank mm -hmm. you.